What I would like is for Will to write a number between 1 and 60 on this piece of paper and then show it to the class. Is that number in this chart right here? Yes. yes. Is it 57? a binary number system. Let me show you a number system with a base 8. So a tape measure is either a base 8 number system, there are 8 inch tick marks, or a base 16 number system. So here we're just going to look at a base 8 number system. And then this length is 8 units long. So whenever you're using fractions here, 8 is always your common denominator. So if I were to roll the dice, I roll these dice and I get 5 eighths and 1 eighth. I have 5 eighths and 1 eighth. The way I add fractions is I need a common denominator of 8. I already have that. And I add across the top to get 6 over 8. Over there. So what I could do now is I could go over here to my base 8 number system on my ruler. And at the 6, I can move up 3 quarters, which is 6 eighths. Everybody follow that? Questions there? Now let me roll again. I roll again, I got 3 eighths and 1 quarter. So I have 3 eighths plus 1 quarter. I need a common denominator of 8. So I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2. So I'm going to have 3 eighths, this 3 eighths here plus 2 eighths to get my 5 eighths. I have a base 8 number system, and then I move the 5 up, 5 eighths. Okay. So now, let me transfer over to a decimal number system. But the key on this is decimal number system, we're still working with base 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my fractional dice. So again, common denominator is 8, base 8 number system. I have 8 over 8 plus 5 over 8 is equal to 13 over 8. On this, I don't have any 8s, but I have my ruler, which is base 8 number system. So all I'm doing on my ruler, Casey, is I'm looking at how can I come up with the 13. Right? Because I have it, it's my base 8, so how do I come up with the 13? How do I come up with 13? Yeah. Eight? Yeah, I have an 8, and taking five. one 5 eighths, and I got a 100, or 1.625. Kind of with me, Kevin? Yeah. Okay. So, let me roll again. I have 1 and 1 eighth. So now I have 1 and 1 eighth, which is going to be 8 over 8, plus 1 over 8, is 9 over 8. So, I have to take that. 9 over 8, converted to a decimal. It's pretty hard to figure that out as a decimal. Does anybody have 1.125 in their head? Okay. I think you would after a while of doing this. Um, so I have 9 eighths, or I could just look on my ruler here and figure out how, how could I come up with a 9. How could I come up with a 9? Oh, 7 and 2. 7 and 2. So I just look on here, bring up the 7, bring up the 2. And I have 0.875 plus 0.25 is the same thing as 9 eighths. Everybody follow that? You got me, that's kind of cool, isn't it, Paul? Okay, so I'm going to keep rolling here. 7 eighths and 7 eighths gives me 7, what is 7 eighths and 7 eighths? Yeah, so I got 14 eighths. I'm just looking on my ruler figure out how, how I come up with a 14. Any way I come up with a 14? 6 plus 4, 10. Plus 3, 13. <laughs> Closing it down. There it is. 14 eggs. Huh? You got me, that's cool. So, did everybody follow that from a binary number system to a base 8 number system? That's how you read a tape. And if you want to do percents going down, it's the same thing. I just roll with the fractional dice. Go ahead and roll the fractional dice. 7 eighths and 1 quarter. 
seven eighths and one quarter is nine eighths. So I move down nine, I get a seven and a two. Three eighths and a quarter. Paul, we got we got three eighths and a quarter is how many eighths? Five eighths. So I'll move the five right here down for sixty two point five percent. Okay, I think to understand the concepts, key, and then even more important is to play for five minutes every day. And I think after a while, you'll be able to read 0.65 is what fraction? Five-eighths. Questions at all? All right, there it is.